how do you know the flange is right for you when pumping, especially if you have plastic nipples? So we start by measuring before you pump. So if we measure before you pump, it does come down to a little bit of math. We can kind of say based on averages with human nipples, this is about what will work. And then we take a look at what the nipples actually showing us after you pump. When you're pumping, only the nipple, not the areola should be going into the tunnel. And we want the nipple to move freely. So we're looking for signs like, does the nipple appear bruised? Does it appear like things were off center? Does it appear like areola got pulled in? Because we are putting it under suction, so you will see that there's, you know, a little bit of swelling. There could be discoloration marks on the nipple. We use those as kind of like a guide to what happened during that pump session to fine tune anything we need to fine tune.